So here we are again in Santa Maddalena, in front of the beautiful San Giovanni in Renui. I feel like this Groundhog Day, again. Last night, we were in front of this incredible scene, the same one we are here today, under very, very different circumstances. And I have to be honest with you, I was being a little bit reserved as being a little bit conservative. I was being a little bit polite because I don't want to be rude, but that experience, if I'm being honest with you, it kind of makes me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. That's not landscape photography. That's not any type of photography. It's just standing in one spot, the same spot that everyone else stands, the same picture, getting that same photo that everyone else is gonna get, that does nothing for me. That's not fun. Honestly, I'd rather be at the dentist's office. There's no, there's no point at all to that. So a couple things, patience and perseverance. Well, that and a little bit of passion and curiosity. That's the mixture right there. That's the recipe. So what we did, we were there. We stayed throughout the entire night and that patience really is a big part of it because if the light changes and it can at any second, especially here in the mountains, you wanna be ready, you wanna be prepared. And that could have changed at any time. So it is important to be patient. It is important to be prepared and simply wait for that light to develop. And that's what we do and that's what we will continue to do again and again. But perseverance, that we haven't talked about yet. That is also what it takes to be a landscape photographer. That is how they get those incredible images. Now we can control a few things, right? We have light, we have composition. We can control our composition. We can't really control our light. We can be prepared for it, but we can't really control it. So that perseverance really comes into play here, which is why we're back here. It's another two hour drive from our base camp to get to this very spot. But look at the weather conditions now. Look at the lighting now. Look at the scene now. It's completely different. Now, why is that? One, perseverance. We came back the next day, and if it didn't work out today, come back again, and come back again, and come back again. It's actually one of the advantages of having something like this in your own backyard, if you're, if you're lucky enough to, or shoot something in your own backyard wherever you live that is close enough to where you can revisit it over and over and over until you get the absolute best weather conditions and lighting conditions. But that's what we were gonna do. Revisit and revisit until we get that light how we want it. So that's why we're back here today. Perseverance. What drives me crazy was standing in that spot, standing in that spot that everybody else stands. So today we decided to take a little bit of a road trip. We went on some hikes. We kind of scouted around a little bit. We explored. And as you'll see over and over, we find ourselves in places that people aren't in places where other people don't go, maybe because there's electric fences, maybe because there's steep trails, who knows? But we find ourselves in places that are unique and it takes a little bit of effort to get there and all that effort will be rewarded with a much better image, a much more unique image, a much more you image in the long run. So here we are. Let's take a look at the scene today. Now, right away, you're gonna notice this is a much more interesting photo and that's because we have a different vantage point. So here's what happens when we're up at this higher elevation. Layers, right? What's our background? We have these gorgeous old lay mountains. We have our middle ground. We have this beautiful San Giovanni in Renui church. I mean, what, it doesn't get any better than this as a middle ground, as a focal point even, but we were missing a foreground, right? And it doesn't always have to be the case, but when you can do it, take the extra effort to try and get that foreground too. So by coming up here, a couple things. The most important one, we got rid of all those people. I can't stand people. I like a person. I can't stand people. And maybe it's a New York thing, but just trust me on this. Try and get away from people. You're gonna get a much better image. But coming up higher, now I take those same trees that were behind us, and now I'm making them my foreground, which is doing two things. One, it's grounding us in the image. It's grounding the viewer in the image. It's giving us another layer creating a little bit more 3D, a little bit more dimensionality, a little bit more depth in the image. But the other thing it's doing, it's kind of framing this church. It's framing my focal point, which works out so perfectly for this image. It also gets rid of this kind of, not necessarily the most boring, but just the empty grass without those trees. They're not gonna do much for our image. So let's take a look and let me show you what I mean. This is great, but way too much foreground. 
way too much of this boring grass, right? Way too much of that blue sky. There's no drama in that sky. There's no clouds. There's nothing in there. So we have the middle of this scene is what the most interesting elements are. The mountains, the church, the foreground of these trees framing that focal point of that steeple. So if it's all in the middle of that frame, what are we going to do? We need to get closer. There's two ways we can do that. One, we can walk. That's impossible here. We're in the mountains. We took so much effort just to come up to this point. But what we can do is switch over to our 2X, our telephoto lens. Let me show you what that's going to look like. That's almost the image, actually. But look how much better that is. One, we just got rid of everything that's not the photo, right? Everything that's not interesting in the image, everything that didn't catch my eye, I simply just eliminated by zooming in, by choosing my 2X view. And everything that I did like the photo, I just filled the frame with it, making it much more impactful. But you're still responsible for everything in the frame. So let's look at the edges now. There's one thing that's kind of driving me a little bit crazy, and this is gonna happen, unfortunately, and that's just development, that's tourism. To the left-hand side, we now have these hotels, these restaurants, not that many, I've seen a lot worse, but at the same time, they're distracting. Remove everything that's not interesting in your photo and only keep the things that are. Photography is the art of isolation. So watch, this is it right here. I'm gonna take this photo first. And it's actually quite beautiful. If I just took that, I wouldn't necessarily be upset, but all I need to do is that right there. Now, remember, you're also paying attention to the corners of your image. If I go too far, now I'm cutting into those mountains. That's my background, that's critical in this image. So I don't wanna cut off too much. In theory, I would love to have those hotels not be there at all. So I might have to sacrifice those mountains on the left-hand side just a little bit, just a couple of those peaks. But before that next peak starts, that's the shot right there. Now I do know that I have just a little bit of that last hotel in that scene. That's not a problem. Just that little bit is so easy to remove. And I'll show you how, but I wanna do myself some favors. I wanna help myself in the edit by not having to remove everything if I don't need to. So just by coming over to the right, just a little bit, just before that last mountain starts on that left-hand side, and take that photo right there, so that's the shot right there. I mean, that's why we have to be patient. That's why we have to persevere. That's why we wait for the right light, the right composition, why we hike up this hill to get this shot right here. That puts a smile on my face. Why does that work so well though? This light, I just mentioned this light. Now you're looking at me front on when we look here, and you can see it in the background of these Odle Mountains, it's side lit, right? It's late in the afternoon, it's almost sunset, we're approaching sunset, the sun is lower in that sky, it's scraping across these mountains, creating this detail, but it's also doing something really interesting to this church, to this steeple. Look at what I mean. It's almost perfectly carved out by that light. Well, what do I mean by that? If we had something bright, right? That's a bright church. If we had something bright behind it, we would have no contrast at all. If we had bright rock, even bright green grass, we wouldn't have any contrast. So if we really look at this scene, it's just, I have to laugh a little bit because it's almost like someone higher up is helping us out here. The way the mountains are structured, the way the sun is right at this specific moment, and from this angle, we have light still falling on this church, on the steeple perfectly, side lit the way we would want to in a studio almost. But at the same time, if we were in a studio under perfect conditions, we would make sure to make that background dark, to create separation, to create contrast, what we call luminosity contrast, brightness next to dark. So in just maybe another half hour, and maybe just a half hour before this, this wouldn't have been that case. We have this church perfectly illuminated by this light. We have the immediate background to the church perfectly falling into shadow. And then we have light above it. And then we have shadow above that. And then we have light on the peaks again. We have light, shadow, light, shadow, light, shadow. That's what creates drama. That's what creates contrast. That's what separates all these elements, all of these layers that we were so careful and worked so hard to get. It separates all of them out and gives all of them center stage. So before anything changes again, I'm gonna take one more photo, and that is the shot right there. That was worth it. That is why we take the extra effort. 
That is why we hike up here. That is why we would come back day after day after day to get that image from this vantage point and this light.